Hello YouTube, this is Damien and today is, hold up, let me fix this shit, this lumpy lumpy shit. Today is, um, Sunday, February 26, 2017. Time is 1.38 p.m. and clearly I am doing a video because I am sick and tired of this whole Nicki Minaj and Remy My Bullshit Ass Beef. Um, everybody talk about some Remy Drag Nicki, Remy Drag Nicki. She trending all over Twitter, making a whole bunch of lies and rumors about Nicki smashing Trey Songs and Nicki smashing Wayne and Drake and Nicki smashing Ebro from, um... Ain't he from um, the Breakfast Club or something? So she just spent a whole bunch of rumors and taking shots at Nicki Minaj, brother who got arrested and doing some time for her, raping the girl or whatever. But I mean, all this other shit. So now they all fighting all over Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Periscope and all this other bullshit. I'm just so over this whole, this Remy my bitch. Like, first of all, ever since you got out of jail. You've been claiming something that's not yours. Now, I'm going to put it like this. I don't buy got time to be explaining how the beat started and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to explain why I don't why I don't like Sheether and why I'm not team um, Remy Ma. First of all, bitch, you have one album. Before that album, you've been picking fights with Foxy Brown. You And then you was a background girl in videos. I've seen you in a few of... Um, Angie Martinez videos now just watching them things where who you see in the video Remy Ma in this whack ass little fucking bodysuit tacky ass we even look like a fucking tranny as usual so hmm. if y'all wanna know what I'm drinking I'm drinking a V8 Splash smoothie it's strawberry banana and it's frozen but anyway, I don't like Remy Ma, bitch. You got one album. You know what? Let me Wikipedia this bitch. Because I'm going to tell y'all exactly what the fuck her issue is. So, this is what y'all need to know about fucking Remy Ma. So, yeah, I type her in. They already talking about. Uh, everybody saying Remy Ma's lying about, I'm mean, about dumb fucking, um, they say, and Nicki Minaj responds to Remy Ma's diss track, everybody saying that, um, Remy Ma's lying about all the shit she said in her, uh, she third shit, but, alright. Then she talking shit about Nicki Minaj on Twitter and blah, 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 blah. And Instagram and blah, blah, blah. But let me tell y'all why I don't like this bitch. And I'm going to click on Wikipedia. Okay. So she's a Grammy-nominated Grammy American rapper. Member of Fat Joe uh, Rap Crew Terror Squad. She has featured in the song Lean Back. And a few of the other songs. And she had an album called... Ba I mean, there's something about Remy based on a true story, which, which was released on February 7, 2006. Okay, she won two Vibe Awards, two Source Awards, a BT Award for Best Female Hip Hop. Um, big pun in uh, Roxanne Shantae's Her Influences. In 2007, she got convicted of intentional assault after shooting a member of her entourage and sentenced to eight years in the Bedford Hills Correctional Facility for Women. She lost an appeal in 2011 and was released on parole on August 1st, 2014. She did a documentary called Black, Light, Black Lifestyle in J Japan or whatever the fuck. Then in, uh, in 2015, she joined the cast in Lovinghood Hip Hop New York. She received uh, two Grammy nominations for a single all the way up, which ain't near her fucking song. Um, 
It's a uh, Fat Joe song, but she's a feature fucking artist, and uh, I didn't see that they won the Grammy. Anyway, um, no, 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 no. This bitch just stay in the fucking trouble. So anyway, way before this bitch was even famous, the bitch got in a beef with Foxy Brown. And from what I've seen on, um, it says, a beef between Remy Ma and Foxy Brown originated in August 2004. When the interviewer noted to Remy, right now, it's the lack of female rappers in the game. Foxy don't got anything going on. Remy Ma responded, how do I feel about them? Say whatever, stay wherever they at. Don't drop a song. Don't do nothing. Let me be the only one. I'm having so much fun. I hope they never come out. Now, nah, I wish everyone the best of luck. Just don't drop when I drop. That's all I got to say. Matter of fact, just don't drop at all. It'll even be better. In September 2004, Remy recalled that after a rap bell, uh, excuse me, a rap bell with Lady Luck at Fight Club, spelled K-L-U-B, her refusal to show some type of seniority or respect to Brown became one of the building blocks in a few... Ooh. Um, Remy also recalled during the incident the two were arguing over a future rap bell where Brown declined and allegedly stated what a bit what what a battle that's for beginners we sell records in Brooklyn Remy did her the rapper responding when the last time you sold a record get the fuck out of here I'd rather be a beginner that's on fire than be a watch up veteran are you fucking serious don't try to degrade what I do Remy additionally revealed that a prize of over um what was it two hundred thousand was offered to do I mean, to whoever won the rap battle. I hope I said that right two hundred thousand. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, yeah. Another building block to the few was Remy Re recollection of her and Brown coincidentally being interviewed at the same events either bef before or after each other where she w would catch when a brown dissing her by making statements like I've been doing this for years these new chicks they're now my level in another event I guess they said it was a beef at you no know, it said <sighs> Let me read that article. I fucked up. In another event, specifically a big fit at the party, Vi I mean, if I, I call this bitch Bobby Brown. Foxy Brown tried to bump into, um, she intentionally tried to bump into Remy. The occurrence results in strands of Brown's weave getting caught in Remy's bracelet. It caused the Remy to snatch. Her is back and yank out the strands. Remy recalled that Brown, in response, kept it moving despite scuffles she had with regular girls in the bathroom or, or cutting in line. Oh. This is too much to read, but anyway, I'm going to continue reading because I just want to get to the bottom of this bullshit. In late January 2005, Rain Ma reportedly punched Foxy Brown outside Island Def Jam Universal Office. 
roughly a few days after Brown um, just Remy during the Renew at Jay Z's Best of Both Worlds tour and allegedly dissed her during the Hot Night Sound interview segment with DJ Clue, where Brown dissed Remy on a mixtape track, We Hustlers, and allegedly ran it, Who Drives 645s? Um, or is it 645s? That's whack. We sell records in New York. We don't got. I mean, excuse me, we don't just get on a radio station and pop up shit. In February 2006, Rain Mod released a freestyle record, most anticipated, that contained slick comments about Brown's hearing problem. Instead, that she didn't care if it was offensive because it was just good punchlines. In September 2006, Rain again jokes about Brown's hearing and dressed in the radio. How Foxy suddenly got her hearing back. I wanted to be the first to inform her that she's whack and old. In July 2007, during an interview with Subbo Magazine, Foxy Brown disrained my stand. When you look at Foxy and Kim and saying, Damn, y'all make me want to rap. Well, shit, you disappoint me because you sound horrible. You look horrible. You sound horrible. If you walk like something, talk like something, act like something, then it is something. <laughs> Brown also dis Remy recollection of her disagreement over a rap bell addressing some of these female rappers have the wrong approach. They want to be my friend instead of approaching me like, hey, how you doing? And the other chick, Remy, yo, what's up with that battle? And I'm looking at her like, you bum ass. No, I don't do that. I'm a businesswoman, baby. In December 2007, Remy spoke more candidly on her dispute with Brown. She confirmed that all she disliked Brown as a person, she admits she liked Brown's music and added that she was influenced by her and Lil Kim. Remy Lair concluded her take on the feud by giving a shout out to Brown's rival Jackie you know on If you look at every female that came out after Foxy Brown or when she came out with Lil Kim to eat to me, Jackie, you know, and even got to Latifah, like how, how do you get in a fight with Queen Latifah? Like, are you serious? The chick is a problem. <sighs> so that's her and Foxy Brown. Now here's her feud with Nicki Minaj, who I'm supporting at this point. Okay, disagreements between Rima and Nicki Minaj originated in 2007 when Remy took note of Minaj's freestyle record nicknamed Dairy Money from her mixtape Playtime Is Over, which was in 2007. On the record, Minaj recites, tell a bitch with, with the crown to run it like Chris Brown. She won three rounds. I'm going to need a hundred, though, like Chinatown. Bitches better bow down. Oh, you ain't no b bet your bitches no nail. Fuck, I got a gun. Let her know that I'm, a, I'm the one. Um, when the two encounter each other at an industry party, Remy asks Minaj who she was dissing in a song. Nicki Minaj reportedly never confirmed or denied that the song was about Remy. However, Remy remarked in the 2010 interview, Tuesday, I still feel like the song was a stab at me. I'm going to diss Minaj back for that one. Okay. Um, on... December 18, 2007, a viral video surfaced via the internet featuring the league Nick, alleged Nicki Minaj dressed in male entire dissing Remy Ma and admitting to having a previous sexual relationship with the rapper by remarking, I used to date her straight off. This is not stunt. I just told you Remy Ma ate the box. Roughly three years following the radio's release, Remy Ma confirmed in the interview that she had no doubts that the woman in the video was actually 
Nicki Minaj explained that she was not gay and never dated Minaj. Since 2011, Rima has stated that she supports Nicki Minaj and her success, but has added she is going to be a problem to Minaj once she would be released from prison. On uh, February 25, 2007, Remy Ma released a song, She Sir, on her SoundCloud account after Minaj recently threw shots in the song, Swallow, and Make Love t- Towards Remy Ma. So this is what Wikipedia is saying. Um, but back to this Remy Ma bitch. So you has one album in 2006. There's something about Remy, based on true story. You have collaborative albums. Planet of Old Plomo with Fat Joe 2017. Um, you were on Loving Hip Hop from since 2015, Loving Hip Hop New York. Uh, and then you got Inside the Land with Tears Cry herself, which is in 2016. She got two DDs. Uh, Remy, my. Fr- from the grind to the glamour, 2006, and then 2007. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Other than that, I don't see nothing to fuck special on Wikipedia or anything about Remy Ma and anything telling me that she could be better than, um... Anyway... It does not matter who the this is are about. First of all, bitch, you're not better than Nikki. Nikki doing way more than you. Second of all, you have one album and bitch, you was in jail. One album, jail. And ever since you got out, you just like Lil Kim ain't do shit lately. And had Nikki and I was running both of y'all bitches. Um. Now you getting love and hip hop checks because bitch you wasn't doing nothing special, so you need those love and hip hop checks to pay your goddamn bills, bitch. Cause I seen your house. Um, yeah. I seen your live and everything, and you look tacky. Your weed was tacky. You was cooking spaghetti out of those dirty ass fucking pots. Papu still walk around with them hats on like that nigga got a ball spot or something. Looking like E. T. Your son ugly as shit, your daughter ugly as shit. Like, I'm just done. I'm done talking about it. It's irritating. The bitch ain't never going to be as bad as Nicki. She ain't never going to do what Nicki do. And Nicki ain't got no time to be making this records. That bitch done that years ago. Ain't nobody got time for that. Especially when you're doing way better. This bitch got an album coming out. She got music videos coming out. This bitch getting soundtracks and movies. She getting parts in movies. Like, what are you doing, Remy? This bitch is doing way more than you. And she got and, and she's taking pictures with Monica. What are you doing? Still trying to look for that Grammy. On love and hip hop making the ass out yourself with this whack ass story nobody trying to hear. I'm so happy that this season is over. I hope that they never let uh Love and Hip Hop New York come back because everybody's born on there. Cardi B ain't going to be on there. She's the one who makes the show. Everybody's story is born as shit. Born ass story. Once Cardi B leaves, I ain't never going to watch Love and Hip Hop New York again. Shit, Hollywood's here better than that. I'll watch Hollywood before I watch New York. I'm just waiting for a part two of this reunion to come on and let it go on by so I can watch Atlanta, which is coming on soon. But other than that, I am done with Remy. I ain't got time for it. I really don't. She's boring. She's whack. She ain't shit. Yo, this was corny. You want to take shots of her brother being a pedophile. But other than that, that's the only truth that was in the damn song. Uh, Nicki Minaj's brother then did something to a little girl and got arrested for it. That's the only truth. Other than that, she did not have sex with Ebro. She ain't had sex with Wayne. She ain't had sex with Trey Song. She ain't sex with Drake. And even if she did, so what? Why are you why are you worrying about what the hell her coochie doing? Bitch, who you had sex with? Commissary. 
Bitch, your rap name should be MA1754101020. I don't damn know. That should been the goddamn, um, your, the name of your fucking, uh, album. Commissary Bitch Hating on the Queen. I'm done. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all think about this whole Remy and Nikki shit. Um, comment on my video. Go in the comments. Uh, y'all can like this. Like, I don't give a shit. Fuck or damn. But tell me in, in the comments what y'all think about this damn, um, um, Remy and Nikki beef. Tell me what y'all think here and about the damn, um, about the, um, 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 Foxy Brown and Remy Beef. And I will get back to y'all in my next video. But I'm just so done with this tranny bitch fucking Reminis Smith. What the fuck is a Reminis? I could sworn that was a fucking, um, why would her mom here name her that? Fuck was she reminiscing on that fucking last 40? Oh, she got two Grammy nominations. She ain't gonna win. She got two Grammy nominations for a fucking song that uh, ain't near hers. Bitch, bye. So. I'm done with this bitch.